As of November 2024, the LEGO Minecraft theme has been going strong for a full 10 years, ever since the first night set in 2014. And throughout those 10 years of LEGO Minecraft, there has been dozens upon dozens of minifigs, mobs and more packed into these colourful, often square, sets. And whilst most are recreated very well, some are so bad that they pay me to look at. And today, we're going to be taking a look at the worst LEGO Minecraft mob of every year. From the simple mobs of 2014 to the very complex mobs of 2024. No, I'm not counting the micro scale sets. And stick around till the end where I will determine the absolute worst one out of them all. Let's go! Kicking things off is 2014, the first year of minifigure scale sets for Minecraft. The mobs were very simple this year. Basic stuff like Steve, the skeleton, the zombie, the creeper, the enderman, the spider, cows, sheep, pigs, one mooshroom, and of course the ender dragon. I really like all of these mobs, Lego captured the designs very well, though I think the spider has to be my least favourite. It has always seemed a bit too big, but they are pretty sizeable in game. And the Lego version isn't even that bad, it's just a case of every other mob just being better. Though in a moment we'll take a look at an even worse Lego Minecraft spider. 2015 took Steve into the nether, bringing us the zombie pigman, the blaze and the ghast. But more importantly, 2015 gave us Alex, so now Steve didn't have to explore the world alone. We were also granted with a snow golem and a dog. No, it's not a wolf, because it has a collar on it. It took me all of about two seconds to pick my least favourite this year, and I'll give you a few to guess what it is. It's the ghast, by a mile. I really, really don't like this mob. It looks so weird, especially with the stud shooter revealed. This thing looks like a white cube with legs. I mean, I guess that's what a ghast is anyway. But the LEGO version somehow looks even uglier than in-game. And in a minute, we'll take a look at the 2018 version of the ghast, which did it a whole lot better. In 2016, we received the ocelot, the horse, the wither, the wither skeleton, the villager, the zombie villager, the iron golem, and the cave spider as well as two player blister packs. I'm right away giving this one to the cave spider. This mob suffers the same problems as the regular spider for me, except this time it's worse because the cave spider is a lot smaller in game, so it makes the sizing here seem even less accurate. This spider appeared in three sets in 2016, 2017 and 2018, making it a bit rarer these days, but being rare doesn't excuse its inaccuracy. I do like the dark blue colour here, but that's about it. Will the cave spider be the winner of the worst Minecraft mob award? Guess we'll have to wait and see. 2017 introduced us to yet another plethora of mobs, this time with some mortal ones included. There's the magma cube, the witch, the slime, the charge creeper, the stray wolf, the bat and the cat, which is near identical to another mob we'll look at soon, the squid, the guardian and the elder guardian. I should have mentioned I won't be including colour variants of mobs, so no, the cyan sheep and grey horse don't count. The worst, in my opinion, probably has to be the bat. It's not inherently bad, but when you're up against the slime in the magma cube, it's no hard choice. Interestingly, the bat hasn't appeared in the set since 2019's The Creeper Mine, though until researching for this video, I didn't even realise that it had been this long, because the bat is so utterly forgettable. And I wonder if they will update the LEGO version now, seeing as the bat has recently received a new looking game. Only time shall tell. 2018 was the first year we received LEGO Minecraft chickens, as well as the very annoying baby zombie. We were also granted polar bears, the stray, a baby zombie pigman, the rabbit, which is another mob I genuinely forget exists, the skeleton horse, the aforementioned upgraded ghast, and the very rare silverfish. This one's also very easy. It's the baby zombie. Look, I know I said I wouldn't count variations of a mob, but the baby zombie is different enough that I'll consider it a unique mob. Yeah, the baby zombie isn't horrible by any means, but once again, it pales in comparison to the other mobs this year. Well, maybe the rabbit comes close, but I like that slightly more. Though at least the baby zombie had printing on his torso here, unlike the future versions. By the way, if you are enjoying the video so far, please consider leaving a like or a comment. Thanks. 2019 was a pretty monumental year for LEGO Minecraft, because this is when they started rolling out player skins in multiple sets, including one which you could redeem in-game, which was the only year they've ever done this strangely. This year's new mobs included a new Ender Dragon variant, a dolphin, a sea turtle, 
and the yet-to-return parrot, the also-yet-to-return husk, and some weird oversized figures that I'm not counting here. Also, I'm not sure if this is the first time a fish has appeared so far. If it is, I would give it the worst award, but that feels lazy, so I'm giving it to the sea turtle. The turtle looks kind of weird, its head especially. The turtle was introduced here and appeared again in a polybag, and this year is the Turtle Beach House set. And it's plain, but it does the job. I really have no further comments on it. 2020's new mobs were the panda, the pillager, a new iron golem, a ravager, and the fox. There's also a Minecraft dungeon set, but I'm not counting that. So I have to break it to the fox that I'm metaphorically letting him go, because he's the worst. And the reason he's the worst is its head. Maybe I'm just an idiot yelling at a brick wall. Maybe not one person on the planet cares, but you know what? I don't care that no one cares. I'll rant about it anyway. Why oh why did they reuse the cat's head? Lego, does this look like a cat to you? If anything, it reminds me more of a dog. As well as that, it feels a little oversized, especially the tail. We also got an arctic fox two years later, and they still didn't fix the issue. Oh, the problems this world faces today. Am I right? Now we're moving on to the more recent years, with 2021. I say recent, but that was already like three whole years ago. This year we received, for the first times, the Drowned, the Pufferfish, the Bee, the Llama, the Wandering Scammer, the Piglin, and the ugh, Hoglin, as well as everyone's favourite mob vote winner, the Phantom. There's also a Dungeons and a Minecraft Earth set, which I'm not going to talk about. Another easy pick here, this one goes to the Hoglin, and it's not even close. That's saying a lot though, because the Wandering Scammer is bad. Why does the Hoglin look like this? Just why? Why is it the colour of human flesh? Why is its head so bad? I truly wonder what went wrong in the design process to spawn this blocky demon. I'm at a loss for words here. In a moment, we'll take a look at the much better version of the Hoglin from 2024. Now we move on to 2022, the final year for these really cool blue LEGO Minecraft boxes. This year we got the Red Creeper, the Arctic Fox, the Glow Squid, the Axolotl, the Goat, a new zombie villager, the Strider, and the awesome Piglin Brute. My least favourite this year is probably the Glow Squid, and it's nothing to do with how disappointing it was in game. It just isn't as good as any of the others. I would have picked the Arctic Fox, but I didn't want to have two foxes on this list. I also dislike the Red Creeper purely for its inaccuracy to the game, but aesthetically that one slaps. So that is why I picked this. I do think the Glow Squid is slightly better than the regular Squid due to its nice colours, but other than that there is really nothing to admire here. Now for 2023, the year the boxes turned from looking cool to looking barely rendered, but that's besides the point. The new mobs this year were mostly from the Wild update being the Frog, the Alay, and the Warden. As well as that, there was a long overdue Shulker and a recolor for the Axolotl. There was also the return of the Witch for the first time since 2017. I really don't dislike any of these mobs. In fact, I think they all look tremendous, though one has to go, and for that, I picked the Alay. This mob is pretty good. It uses the vinyl wing piece, which is very unique for a Minecraft set, and it has clips so it can hold items. Its body is a tad oversized, and as other people have mentioned, it works a bit better if you replace the body with that of the baby zombie. By no means is this the worst LEGO Minecraft mob, it just was the least great from a great bunch. And that brings us to 2024, which so far has given us a baby camel, baby turtles, the final frog colour, and a new cat and sheep recolour, as well as a Minecraft Legends set. And we are reportedly getting an end ship set later this year, as well as a set containing a sniffer, which is awesome and an 18 plus crafting box set, akin to the Mario Lucky Block. Very, very interesting. Though since the sets have yet to be revealed, I cannot accurately determine which is the worst quite yet, so I'll put a pin in this conversation for now. And finally, I want to announce the winner for the Worst LEGO Minecraft Mob of All Time award. It is, drumroll please. The 2021 Hoglin, by a mile. I genuinely have a hard time looking at this thing, it's that horrific, especially seeing as just this year they released a new Hoglin that looks phenomenal. The colours are actually correct this time around, and the face is infinitely better. Talk about a glow up. That concludes this list. Thank you for watching the whole video. 
comment down below if you have any of these mobs and what your least favourite one is, and click here if you would like to see some of the rarest ones. That's been all for today folks, have a great day and see you next week.